One of the primary purposes of the ARRA funds is to be able to help stimulate the economy. It's to be able to provide funds to hire new people, and so uh, we're bringing on a full-time programmer. It's also been able to help me uh, keep a research assistant paid and hired on. And my expectation is the next step I'll be hiring also a postdoc who will be focusing their efforts in this particular area. So and ultimately, I think it's serving its purpose. It's accelerating science. It is getting people hired. There's several things that we're trying to find with this research. We want to understand what is the effect of both acute and particularly chronic pain on the brain and how is it affected by people's cognitions, beliefs, emotions, and medications. We've worked together in a team approach here to be able to use neuroimaging as a tool to control the brain. And so what we can now do is put people into a scanning environment. We can focus on any area of the brain that we want. And we can feed that signal back to the subject or the patient and have them control it in real time. And we published a paper a few years ago that showed that by being able to control a specific brain region, that it changes very specifically a particular perception, in this case, pain. And so this grant is really to extend that research to further develop the software platform on real-time fMRI. What is it going to take to be able to control different brain regions? Uh, what are the effects of it on people? Uh, who are the people most likely to respond? And so we're very excited about this opportunity because this project is not confined to pain. And so this is the very definition of an enabling technology. We have partnerships and collaborations with people in the Department of Psychiatry, Psychology, and Electrical Engineering, looking at areas such as cognitive development, addiction, depression, anxiety, and so any type of brain-related illness this type of technology can apply to. One of the holy grails in all of this is to be able to ultimately connect the brain back down to the body to ultimately influence disease, disease progression and actually healing. Our hope is that the efforts that we're putting into this will translate ultimately into a treatment for brain-related illnesses. Thank you.